All right. Hello, everyone. Today is uh, Saturday, June the 24th, and we're going to do a little uh, performance overview for the last week. And to do that, we'll start with taking a look at the, at the platform and just noting some numbers, starting with the Netlick, which is standing at 38,995. Um, we can go and put that into our performance. I actually did that uh, a little bit earlier. So 38. 995 then this is a closing of the spy as of yesterday and uh, this is indexed value for those of you who don't know i indexed both values so that it's easy to compare them even if you do some deposits so for example uh, a couple of months ago i had 15000 in the account but then i added uh, 7000 then 6600 and 6800 but each time i did that I changed the denominator in this indexing number. If you can see here, uh, this was the starting one, but then once you add the deposit, you change that to match the performance of the previous week. And then you just continue with the same denominator until you uh, either add or subtract some money. And that way the indexed value that's uh, starting at zero shows you the real picture uh, regardless of if you take money out or put money in and i do the same for spy so that it's easy for me to compare how i'm doing versus the the market and then on the right hand side we see year to date uh, but right now let's talk about this uh, last week let's go back to the platform and see where we stand so our delta is at 37 uh, which is all right that's right about uh, you know 0.1 of uh, Netlick and not point point zero 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 one. Um, we have 30 in theta, a little light, could be a little bit uh, stronger, but the VIX is so low, it's kind of hard to get any theta. So we're going to just continue plugging along and we'll get there eventually. Buying power usage, usage is right at around 18%. Uh, I try to stick at VIX plus. 5% at the, at the max, so that would be right there, 18 and a half or so. So we're fine with the uh, buying power usage. For those of you who trade options on equities, um, that might seem, to, might seem a little too low, and it might be, but you have to keep in mind that notional value uh, on, on the futures and uh, the span margin um, makes it a lot more potent. So the buying power can explode much faster than than it can on the on the equities and um, it's safer to keep it on the lower side so uh, let's go and see the metrics uh, here so on this page on this tab i keep the the greeks so uh, these are from last night so they might be slightly slightly off but everything is in line there's nothing nothing to do here uh, as far as trade goes uh, we, trades we have 14, this number here counts all the open trades. So we have 14 of the one, two, one trades open. Each one, uh, each line here is one trade. And then we also have few calls right here. They're losing money at the moment as they're all actually in the money given the market has been going up. But on the performance, uh, we can notice that market on this year today performance right here we can see that last week the market went down a little bit we continue continued slightly going up so you know we're relatively close to to the market uh six months into the year and uh, here i have projected yearly return obviously this is pretty meaningless the first few months because any small change can can make a huge impact but as we go six months and above it starts to stabilize and uh looking at 23 and change right now for the yearly yearly performance year for the 2023 that i would be happy with that that that's that looks good and uh, the way i do that is basically the formula here as you can see it just takes the performance uh performance here and then divides it by uh, however many days has been uh in the year so far and then multiplies by with 360 to get to this value this is just a rough uh, guideline to to see how you know are we on track is everything going all right and it seems to be all right so here we in march we were 
going down that that's shown right here the market was going down as well but we were going down a little bit more but then we stabilize stabilize after that um everything looks fine there are several trades that are ready for harvesting and if you take a look here um, since i do only one two ones all of the trades are one two ones i know that each um put here that shows two minus two is one uh trade it's in the naked portion of of uh, of a trade so i can see that um for example this particular trade is at 93 percent uh profit the naked puts could be taken off but there is no reason to take them off just now uh, unless i'm planning to put on another trade so uh, i can just keep it there those are pretty safe and i can keep and get uh, a little bit extra tera for the uh, for the next few days but i definitely do plan to replace those with some new trades next next week uh you can see these here like, let's say this this one is 77 this one is getting close most of the trades are around um should be around 80 percent before harvesting but um could be 90 could be anywhere between 70 and 90 depending on the starting um how much we spent for the put debit spread when we started but that's all tracked uh here on the mes right here every time i put a new trade i uh note how much we paid for the put debit spread and how much we collected in in uh naked uh, two nakeds and then we have the percentage uh, of the cost of the pds as a percentage of the cost of the premium collected here so in this case here we only paid 13 and a change so we are okay to close this trade at 69 or 70. we can keep it longer if we if we need to but we're happy to take it off after 70. anytime we reach prof this profit shown here on the naked puts it means we can close it and even if we uh, we then lose all the money on the pds we get to keep 50 percent of the original collected uh premium on the naked put so in this case if it's 215 if we close it at around 75 percent uh we will get to keep around 170 dollars and you can see that kind of right here when we have total profit and loss after fees it's generally in low 100s after collecting uh just a little over 200 as you can see for example here 217 121 240 121 217 111 so that's on that and then we also keep track of per day how much the trade produced per day uh just to to see how different trades perform over time given different mix levels and things of that nature but we're looking good looking forward to next week and putting on some more trades and until then have a great weekend all i'll see you next week